Well, sending units not working in this. And I just spent a few minutes laying underneath to drop the fuel tank. And this has a metal skid plate, has this hitch and things bolted to it that the bolts on that hitch are so rusty and the metal skid plate that holds the tank on looks like I'm gonna break many bolts. If you look up through here, you can even look in there and you can see the bolts for the straps that actually hold the tank in are a little corroded and pitted up a little bit. So I think there's gonna be a lot of work to drop that fuel tank just to make a fuel gauge work. Or, if you notice, uh, we've pulled out some carpet. I was kind of hoping there wasn't a, some old vehicles, they would have actually a plate you could unbolt to get to the back of your tank. But, um, uh, yeah, and then I'll maybe make some tabs so it can be put back in and, and I'm going to, I'm going to do that to get to my sending unit and hopefully not spark and cut through the fuel line or do anything stupid. But that's my plan. If you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> Let's cut that out. See how that goes. All right. I just did a three side cut. I might cut that out and then I'll weld in some plate in here for some snaps or something, but... I'm actually kind of curious if I can roll it on that seam. <clears throat> Look at there! Oh, Mr. Fuel Sending Unit. That's right on top of this very heavy cross member beam thing. <sighs> that really, that's upsetting. But it's right there. Oh. All right. Well, first I'm going to take these here sending unit wires. I'm going to take these off here. I'm going to put them on the new unit and see if my gauge works. And then I know if this was worth it or not to even pull this apart. Because I might have a problem in the dash or a bad fuse or a broken wire. So let's see what happens here. Well, I just set it kind of mid-level new sending unit and can't quite tell from up here but we've got now a half a tank which we didn't have before so 100 percent the sending unit is bad new sending unit needs to be put in so i'm gonna vacuum this out blow this out see if I can get it out without taking this steel plate apart. Um, so, yay! But I, this is a million times better than, than anything else. I mean, if anything, I can put a little tab of metal here and put some pop rivets and pop rivets here or a piece of metal here, fold that back down. Hell, even some self tappers. Throw the carpet arc over the top, bomb it down the road. Plus, I'm willing to bet since 1987, the sock is probably dirty. I'll probably get better fuel supply. The motor's gonna be happier with that too. You look, it's got those old clamp on hose clamps. So I'm gonna have to figure something out for that too. Cool. Fuel tank sending unit. I'm all about fuel gauges. Your fuel gauge works now. The monster. Let's step over here. This is my... Oh, I had some water. I spilt my water that I had in case I caught anything on fire. A uh, monster. Come on, focus. All right, back on the fuel tank. So that is awesome. So it's right off of that steel beam. They are the clamp style, so I'm gonna have to cut those because I don't know if there's enough play in these rubber lines to get the connection to pull in to make the connection. So hopefully I don't have to cut this apart and make new rubber hoses. But I'm also willing to bet that 
the tank underneath and screen's gonna be a little dirty. So I'm extremely happy with cutting the hole here, doing what we're doing. I think it's just gonna make everything really great. I'm thinking I might put a little tab of metal on this and that way when I bring it down, I can clamp it and just tack weld this on, tack weld it to like these high points. And then when I bring this on, even a sheet metal screw in those spots will bring it together. And then I'll put a little piece of metal across here with a, like a pop rivet or a screw here, here, and here. Totally sealed. This took me 15 whole minutes versus, it would have, I it probably would have been a full day project of getting the tank dropped and then fixing bolts and re-welding bolts. So awesome. That's how you're going to change fuel tank. So there's no real reason to show the ins and outs and finished project, but I'll show a little clip when it's all done and I'm going to get to work, get that done. Sit here and watch a little YubiTube. tube. Have fun. Now commercials. You can you believe that? Commercials. <sighs> YouTube's getting horrible. Watching commercials. See, I'm not popular enough to have commercials during my videos, so tell other people about it. No commercials while you watch me. All right, well, I went to put it in the tank and the pickup tube on the new one was hanging much lower, so I gave it a double bend right here. So it now arcs and it's in about the same angle and position there. And then I also double bent my float so that totally empty is basically where the pickup is. Um, which might not read totally perfect, but it gives me an idea of where it needs to be. The biggest bummer is where my lineup points here. This faces that way. These are actually facing the wrong direction, so I'm going to have to run. I am going to have to get longer hose and barb fittings and make a make loops and connections for all that. But well, it is what it is. Can't make this crap up. I put the new tank in, put it all on, turn the key on. I can't get the fuel sending unit to do anything. And I just took it all apart and the damn wire inside here is broken. And if you look, it's actually soldered. And of course it's now been soaked in the fuel tank and it's soaked in fuel. So I need to clean it off, blow it off and do something to it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so we've soldered that wire back together. I ohmed out my sending unit and I now have proper ohms, which I had zero ohms before because, well, it wasn't working. And I didn't catch myself on fire soldering up a sending unit that was soaked in fuel. Let's try it again. So I put a little piece of metal here, tack welded it here, here, and here. Made sure I didn't catch fuel on fire. Made sure I had water and things ready for that. Now I'm just going to roll this down, tap it down a little bit, put three little screws there. Then if I ever have to get to it again, lift her up, go from there. I'm even so much more happy that I did it this way for that fuel sending unit to be broken. I would have been so lividly upset if I would have put this all together, drop the tank, tested it down like I did, put it all in, and then it not work because that wire fell off. So I think this proves a win-win for this situation. So that was my Saturday of doing some fuel. We have a fuel sending unit, a fuel heater, and time to clean up tools. Not y'all.